what's going on youtube come back at you with another video so i saw something that i thought was interesting i wanted to share it with you please hit the like for me i know i'm the only one bringing this to you fat joe got called an agent on his instagram and he actually responded to the comment i'm gonna show you what's going on so fat joe had this video up he was talking whatever he was talking about with the mask on. Somebody in the comments said to him, I see Joe just as brainwashed as the rest with a Gucci face mask like the rest of these clowns. You know the government gave us corona to practice brainwashing quarantine. I know you woke Joe, but you don't act like it, which means you an agent. Fat Joe responds, he said, LOL, far from an agent. You read too much books. So that um, comment actually is very interesting to me. First of all, I want to tell you, um, this person had left some other comments on here. I don't agree with everything that they had said in the other comments. I think this comment, though, is very interesting and it's important to talk about. So he's saying, I see you just as brainwashed as the rest with a Gucci face mask like the rest of these clowns. Let me tell you, first of all, how far gone and how quick people are to follow what everybody else is doing and follow what the TV tells them. From my understanding on the CDC website, it actually says that you do not need to wear a face mask unless you have symptoms or signs of being possibly infected with the virus. The face masks are for people who are sick so they don't get other people sick if they cough and things like that. Um, that's number one. So the fact that people are out here running around with face masks on everywhere you look, um, acting like they're gonna, you know, be protected from coronavirus because they're wearing a face mask is completely asinine. Again, you can go look on the CDC's own website and see clearly it says that face masks are only for infected people or people who show symptoms. Number two. I agree with this person that says um, the I'm not going to say it's the government, but it's the shadow government that was involved in this whole coronavirus situation. It's clear as day. You basically have to be completely asleep with no kind of critical thinking or common sense or even just the slightest bit of intelligence. If you don't realize that this shit was all created and staged, and I'm not saying staged as in not real, because clearly it's real, although I do think the numbers are highly skewed and I don't think it's as serious as what people are making it out to be, although there is people dying people you have to remember and i'm not this is where the the government trains you um i'm not saying that this is you know any um less worse than the flu or any more worse than the flu all i'm saying is people die every year from the flu understand that you need to understand that people die from from diseases all the time from not having strong immune systems but a lot of these numbers that they've been saying are actually not real numbers i saw an article that was published recently talking about the numbers and actually they had misrepresented tens of thousands of deaths they were claiming these people died of covid19 but guess what turns out they really died from the flu so Things are not exactly as the way they seems. The government wants to scare you. They want to make you think that your only option out there is to give them all authority so they can keep you safe. This is exactly how they operate. This is exactly what's going on right now. They want you in panic mode. They want you scared. And the reality is what you really need to be scared of is what's going on because of the coronavirus more than you have to be scared of the actual coronavirus. Um, that's my take on that. The last piece this person said is, I know you woke, Joe, but you don't act like it, which means you an agent. I wouldn't go as far as calling Fat Joe an agent. I actually, musically, in the hip-hop world, I've been fucking with Fat Joe since probably 1995, something like that, 1994. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember exactly when. It might have been 93. I'm not exactly sure when Fat Joe came out with his first album, but ever since that first album, I've been fucking with Fat Joe. Um, I have a lot of respect for him musically and in the hip-hop world, what he's done and, you know, the longevity of his career and his catalog. But I don't have no respect for nobody out there who's not speaking out about what's going on. If they're not telling you the truth, 
If they're not telling you what it is, how can you respect that? I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying Fat Joe is an agent, but I haven't seen Fat Joe or anybody else really coming out and speaking on this as far as from the hip hop or celebrity world. The only people I really seen talking about this that I paid attention to was Hocus 4 Fifth. Shout out to him. He's actually been doing a lot of good work on Instagram, providing people with knowledge and information where you can at least go look for yourself. And Hassan Campbell, regardless what you think about Hassan Campbell, Hassan Campbell has been pushing real, a lot of real, a lot of important shit that people need to understand and be aware of. So aside from pretty much those two, I haven't really seen anybody um, although I don't watch many other YouTube channels like that to where I would be seeing this, but I haven't seen that many people talking about this kind of shit. And, um, I think it's sad to be honest with you that this is the state we're in and people really aren't even concerned. They just want to see the same old drama, the same old bullshit, but fat Joe, I don't know if he's an agent. I don't think he is, but he is connected to the system as far as the music industry. And we know what the system in the music industry represents, the whole Luciferian satanic agenda. That's the reality of it. I don't know how much Fat Joe's involved with that, but being that he's in the industry, he definitely knows what's up. We know what's up and we're not even involved in this shit. So, I mean, it's pretty much clear as day. This shit is crazy though. Fat Joe called out for being an agent. He actually responds. I want to know what people out there think about this whole situation. Do you think Fat Joe is an agent? Do you think he should be talking about other things with this whole situation? What do you think? Leave some feedback. Hit the like, subscribe, share. Make sure you ring the notification bell too if you're subscribed. I appreciate you.